Um, a lot of other schools do have uh, different cultures, but we are majority other cultures. I mean, sometimes in my classroom when I turn around and I look, I'm the minority. Well, almost every class to have, I'm the minority in, in that classroom, and I love that. And um, we are predominantly Guatemalan. Um, I started about, oh, 18 years ago. I think we had one of our first families come in from Guatemala. And it's kind of a, a, the same area in Guatemala that they come from. And they came, they loved it. Um, they found a school that they loved, a community that they loved. And then here we are, literally 18 years later, and we're over 50% Guatemalan as a population here. We, we have really worked hard to build a community here where everyone feels comfortable with everyone. Yeah. This is our kids' safe place. This is where they're fed, this is where they're loved on, and they know they're safe here. Yeah. They know this. And I think once all the debates started happening and uh, different politicians were saying, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, um, and the, Im the immigration topic got brought up and then it was out in the news a lot, that is when our kids uh, were like, we're they a little worried. worried. Yeah, they became more vocal. We, I know that we stopped seeing our parents come a lot to pick up their kids because they got a little nervous. And I know that Miss Corey and Miss Griselda had organized actually a, um, a big meeting with the University of Tennessee so that they could know their rights. Because um, a lot of them are legal immigrant, legal. And you know what? I couldn't even tell you who's illegal. I don't know here. I mean, I don't care nor they don't do I even know. Like that. No. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I will tell you, I took, um, I have a close relationship with a child named Juana. She's in seventh grade now, and her, her little um, cousin is uh, in kindergarten. And I took them, I always take them out to eat for their birthday. So I'd taken them out to um, a restaurant for their birthday. And it was um, down the street, it was a Mexican restaurant. Mm -hmm. And they both speak fluent Spanish, and I don't. And I'm trying to learn. Mm -hmm. But so Juana orders in Spanish. And then I try to order in Spanish, and then Marimar wouldn't speak Spanish, but I know she knows Spanish. And I was like, Marimar, why aren't you speaking Spanish to him? It's such a beautiful language. And she is in kindergarten, and she said to me, I, um, I don't want to speak Spanish anymore because I'm afraid that um, I'm going to get sent back home. I said just speak English, okay. um, but that's because that's how, they're, that's how they're taught, and that's how they're expected to learn and perform and to produce their work. So they do on the playground, they'll speak Spanish sometimes. In the hall, you might hear it. In my class, I, I have to use it because mm -hmm. if I've got kids coming in that are brand new and they don't know any English, mm -hmm. I'm like, hey, I need you to pair up, explain this game to so-and-so. 